But Corey, hump hey, day, hump day, hump yes, day to Friday. It's time for the weekend countdown. Hump day to Friday. Mm, mm, mm. We are here for you. We are ready to get another episode of a blind guy. His wife. Their life live started. We are here today to talk to you about how you can have money saving travel in Namibia by taking advantage of the services of travel curators, Sizzles, uh, Rebecca of Sizzles Diaries, <laughs> and her partner, Febronia. They are travel curators in Namibia. So if you're a person that's looking to travel abroad and you want some tips on how you can travel abroad and have money saving experiences, this is the show for you. Absolutely. Also, if you're maybe looking at getting into the travel curation business, you're going to learn a lot today. But before we get started, we have to have a few words of promotional considerations brought to you by the following sponsors. All right. This is what we do, guys. We share our sponsors for the week. We're always excited to have sponsors. And we have an amazing set of sponsors this week. Reigning champs, guys. You know, they keep coming back. David and Christine Brooke. So uh, thank you for your support. We love you for it. And dun, dun, dun. Corey, you know, I always have issues with playing these Jungle videos. Screaming. Yes. So let's see what happens if our sponsor video is going to go ready, set, and hey, I think it's going, Corey. Lean in. Here we go. Supreme sponsors, David and Christine Brooks. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you. Fancy sponsor, Intentional Millionaire. Thank you again, Intentional Millionaire, for your sponsorship. You or your company can become a sponsor. Visit blindguyhiswife.com. That's all you have to do, all guys. Right. Well, it's time to get it started up in here. So let's go, let's go, let's start the show with the real talk with Tabi intro. All right, let's this go. This is another episode of a blind guy. It's why. It's why. It's why. It's why. Hey everybody, I'm Corey the Blind Guy. His wife, Laquita Marie. Together we are letting you enter our life live. We are a self-improvement resource library that changes the narrative of normal from shifting your, shifting your focus on what it means to have health, to run your business, and to grow your wealth. We are here today, as usual, counting you down to the weekend every Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. 11, Hump 15, day to Friday. 11.15 a.m. Eastern Easter. Standard Time. We are here for you, and we you always introduce you to it. fabulous guests that we met along our friend? way. Because I you know you off. cut me off. <laughs> <laughs> along the way, today is no exception to the rule. Today, bringing us a word on the street all the way from Rwanda is our friend, hey, Coach Remy, work out. Hey, Coach Remy, hello, how are you? Hey, hello, I'm wonderful. Thank you for having me, guys. It's always uh, a pleasure. Always a pleasure to have you as well. You are one of our topics today. We already have your banner scrolling because you are uh, a part of the a new feature called yeah. In Show Steamers. Following our uh, coffee theme, this is an opportunity for businesses and content creators to showcase their business and their, their channels as part of the show, getting more time to promote to our audience. So that means when you go to buymeacoffee.com forward slash uh, blind guy, his wife, and we'll drop the link in the chat. It's in the description. You will see these different opportunities. So, mm -hmm. of course, you'll get there to the landing page. That's how you'll know you're there. And then you just scroll down and the extras are right there. You can get an ad for an intro latte, an ad for an intro cappuccino, or come on for a short period like uh, in show espresso. for an in-show espresso where you are in the show uh, for a short period of time. And Coach Remy, thank you for yes. taking advantage of this situation. So <laughs> as a coach, um, yes. do we have to do anything like working out or are you just going to tell us about fitness today? Uh, today it's uh, it's word on the streets. And, okay, good. Uh, Ooh, word... okay. That's all I need to hear. Words. Okay, perfect. Words. <laughs> Not no, workout. No just work. Words. <laughs> no work. Just words. Uh, yes. <laughs> well, Coach, remember we're gonna pop pop you backstage into the green room where you can enjoy some avocado toast and a mm -hmm. nice glass of champagne. Virtual. We got all of that it's virtual. So enjoy this yes, virtual yes. view as possible. <laughs> Right, and you know, trash can waves. If you don't work, you can't eat. Glenda is telling you. So if if he says we have to eat, I mean, we have to work, 
then hey, you, you got to work out. Uh, so you already in the comments. I mean, <laughs> you know, it's Glenda Corey, so we got to mm -hmm. kind of listen to her. But and she's also saying good morning, Coach. So I mean, what else I'm gonna do? All right, see you later, Coach. And if you're already so, here, get ready for the first place pony drawing later on. You can hashtag the home team. All right. So right now we're going to give you a sneak peek at today's plant-based treat because our guest from Namibia is popping in and out backstage. She's getting ready. We've been chatting with her and I say we give them a sneak peek. Well, first, we have to say this broadcast is powered by StreamYard oh, and members yeah. supported by viewers like, like you. you. The way that you can be part of the Blind Guy, His Wife home team is, first of all, subscribe if you haven't already. And then when you come to our live broadcast, make sure that you bum rush the button. Thumbs up, guys. That's all you have to do is give a thumbs up. This way, everybody else knows that this information that we're giving is as important to them as it was to you. And make sure that you share this this, this information. As the great philosopher Miriam Adepoju would say, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell, them, tell your neighbor, tell your family, tell the people at your church, your mosque, in your village. Make sure that they know that there's some valuable content being created as we are a self-improvement live resource library for you. So they can also support the broadcast. We've already mentioned it before by going to blindguyhiswife.com. Absolutely. Now scrolling right there at the bottom of the page, you'll see blindguyhiswife.com. You will also see a list of our sponsors. So that means that uh, those people, they've added to this channel in some way. And here they are now listed, scrolling, all of those good things. Now, I think we can go there, but let's say hello to uh, Sizzles first or Rebecca from Sizzles. Yes, we want to we say good morning to Rebecca from S the YouTube channel Sizzles Diaries. Hey, hello. Rebecca, how are you? Hey there, Corey and Sister Laquita. Um, <laughs> thank you for inviting me into the show. I'm so excited to be with you and for those who don't know me my name is Rebecca I have a YouTube channel and I'm glad to be here as a host for a travel curator business travel, travel curator, curator business you know that's not just that means you're like the travel agent like we would call in the states a travel agent um, but a personalized one because you do more than just set things up you curate the experience and as a historian uh, with your master's in international relations and Dipl diplomacy. Yeah. Then you're like experienced, you're knowledgeable, you have all the connections and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we can get one of your business partners in here as well. So we're excited to and hear you about have, this. You had an opportunity to actually travel, do a travel <laughs> curation tour with Woda Maya, right? Yes. Uh, we actually hosted Woda Maya throughout his entire trip in Namibia. And it was a very interesting and very fascinating and fun experience. Nice. nice. And the other thing is that Sylvie is from Namibia. She's like, hey, Sizzle Diaries. Hey, <laughs> Sylvie in the house. Maybe we can get Coach Mr. Riley to come in and so we can get that competition spurred yes. on. Yes. Sylvie is another YouTuber from Namibia. She just had a, a video on this morning about clearing up acne and these amazing products that uh, I was looking at the website, the Instagram. That's right. a whole nother story. I thought you were going to say she just had a baby. I was like, what? No, 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 no. Oh. And so I know, right? You see Sizzle's eyes went wide. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> so if we can, we uh, we would like to bring in Fabronia. I'll see how her signal is working because I know she's a student. She's moving around and she's doing some of everything. So let's see. Ah, uh, It's not showing up. It's frozen or something is happening. See, that's what Come happens on, when you're a student. Let it go, network. Let it go. We don't <laughs> want to be frozen. We'll see you soon. Okay, Sizzle? All right. See you soon. All right. All right, Corey. Sneak peek. Sneak peek, sneak peek at the plant-based tree. Because we've got to dive into the uh, conversation because Share With Love TV was saying hello to Sizzles and I missed it. Ah, hello, Share With Love TV. She hears us and so does JP, the aspiring matri matriarch. Get out of the comments and get to the treat. No, they're saying hello to Sizzle. So I was okay, letting her know. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Even though um, uh, Sylvie did say no, Corey, no babies yet. All uh -huh. right. Out of the comments. Out of the comments. Sneak peek at today's plant-based treats. And why are we doing plant-based treats? Because we want you to increase the fruits and vegetables and whole grains in your life so that you can have a better, better health, run a, a smooth business, and increase your wealth. That's it, guys. So definitely here's a sneak peek at today's plant-based treat. 
banging brown rice. See, something you didn't expect. Just rice. Everybody eats rice, right? Everybody mm -hmm. loves rice. And now it's time to cannonball into the comments. <laughs> now, at long last, at last, mm -hmm. my mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who sings that song? Oh, Black Tropical Home says, <laughs> Soil Family, blessings hey, to you all. On hey, this hey Black Tropical. So happy to have you here. Looks like you're in first place for now. I don't see any other comments before you. Go ahead, everybody. Hashtag the home team. That's how you get first place pony bragging rights. So we also have Wally saying, let's go. Hey, Wally. Wally in the house. Yes. Thanks for joining us, Wally. Black Tropical all the way in Georgia. Absolutely. And Glenda is saying, good morning, Soil Family Chat, Corey and Laquita. And then you know she has all the hashtags. Hashtag saving money. Hashtag travel in Namibia. Hashtag sizzles diaries. Ooh, Wonder Wednesday. All right. That's Wonder a good Wednesday. one. And, and so, you know, she's saying Wonder Wednesday or Wonderful Wednesday. Thank you so much, Glenda. You always have the best All the hashtags. way deep down in the heart of Texas. She's had her coffee today and a goji berry muffin coming up. Her uh, Ganoderma coffee. Oh, uh, okay. Yes. Trash Can Wave says big support. Trash Can Waves in the house all the way in Michigan. Yeah, I got to check his video out. He has a new trailer for an upcoming video. You know, oh, there's okay. a trailer feature and Trash Can Waves does edits and he right. knows what to do with all that stuff. So he's using all the good stuff. So, uh, hey there, Trash Can Waves. Always good to see you. And guess who is peeping in, Corey? Snuggles. You already know. You already know who it is. Mm. <laughs> hey, Snuggles. Uh, of course, we did say hello to Share With Love TV. She was jump roping this morning. She jumped. She did a milestone, Corey, 2,000. Wow. She usually does jumps. a thousand. Yeah. She's the reason I bought that jump rope with the counter on it, guys. You should see her legs. I'll just say that. I got to get my legs like hers. How many can you do in a row? Uh, um, she usually a... does about 35 to 50 in a row. Okay. Before she uh, the rope trips up. Yes. Okay. Yes. Right. Yeah. She can go. Hey, Nancy Annette. Sister Nancy. <laughs> she says grand rising, folks. Hello. Hello, everyone. Why Miss B Finesse all late talking about first? B Finesse. <laughs> <laughs> causing stress from the east to the west. She's talking about I beat Philip, so that's all that matters. To say the least, she's a beast as she's walking the streets on the stroller with her baby in the in the front. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, Miss B Finesse. She's in here. We know, girl, we know. In and out running errands. I know your stream is happening soon at 1 p.m., so definitely getting ready for that and getting life done because you have a family and all those good things. So no problem. We appreciate you being here. And G. Albert is like, hey. Hey, G. Albert in the house. Talk about, did you put a price on those succulent plants yet? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, we, we always remind you to be a part of as many networks as you can. And G. Albert and uh, Corey and myself, we're in a network together. And that's a secret inside joke from mm -hmm. the mastermind group the other night. So, yeah, man, we're doing it. Of course, J. Pam is in the house, Corey. Hey, J. Pam in the house. Yes, J.P., the aspiring matriarch, had a stream last night. She always has the best topics, okay? And you can call in. She plays music. It's great. So, guys, make sure you are putting in hashtag the home team because right now it looks like Black Tropical has put it in. And, uh, you know, so, uh-oh, J.P., what in the world? I'm embarrassed to say that I killed a succulent in Arizona. It was mm. in the window and never got water. I definitely have a brown thumb for growing green things. Wow. <laughs> I think we relate it. Because when I tell you, JP, I mean, you're in Arizona, so that's your excuse. It's dry there and with the arid weather, just blame it. You know, blame it on that. So uh, Sylvie is definitely excited for her Namib Namibia friends being on today. And of course, hey, we even got the pharmacist in here, Corey. Hey, our favorite pharmacist or your favorite pharmacist. Yes, warm regards, your favorite pharmacist. She's a real pharmacist, guys. And a lot of her streams, she'll come in giving you uh, benefits on different supplements and things. Oh, my goodness. She was talking about Ali, A-L-L-I. Oh, uh, I thought you were talking about Muhammad Ali. I was like, oh. Ooh. I know, Ali, Ali. Remember Homegirl? That was taking that? Because it, it's like the fat loss thing. Homegirl that was taking that. It, okay, so listen. Allie, uh, your favorite pharmacist was saying that. Her name is Allie? No, no, no. Your favorite pharmacist was saying that you should not take Allie unless you plan on not eating any fat. Because oh, okay. when you're trying to lose weight, it will go through your system, remove the fat. So if you think you're going to eat a burger. So she was saying, your favorite oh. pharmacist was saying it will train you. 
So remember, when, <laughs> so you know, what I'm I know talking that, about. yeah, yeah, that sounds like a disaster. No, had. remember, homegirl, because your favorite pharmacist was like, you might have to even wear a diaper, you will leak, it is bad. Remember, you remember, um, what's the name was trying to open the front door, and the two friends were waiting so that one of them could run into the oh, door. yeah, <laughs> that's what she was taking, <laughs> yeah, that alley. yeah, yeah, got you, got I remember that story. And remember, man. she was like, man, I might have to go in these bushes, right? Right, <laughs> I was, I was telling them that on the chat, uh... when you were watching that, so. Sorry, guys. We had to have a whole conversation. Your favorite pharmacist is nice, not me. And she always got a Vaseline on her stream. Hey. <laughs> Check it out, guys. She did have some Vaseline in a big jar. All right. Trash can waves. Yes, we have sponsors. We have new ad options and all of those good things. So every, he's talking to, you know what? He loves your ph favorite pharmacist because she always has a co-host, K. Mm -hmm. And so we're always over there cutting up. So everybody's in there chatting it up. Let me see if I said hello to everyone. Hashtag the home team for the first place pony drawing. Yes, Miss B Finesse has done that. Hashtag the home team. It's in there. I saw um, Trash Can Wave saying hi to Philip, saying something to Philip, but I did not see Philip in there. Maybe I missed him. What in the world? I don't know. The PWJ was in there. We appreciate you being here. It's one of our moderators. Yeah, thank you. I hope you're feeling better, Glenda. She is saying she's feeling good, but uh, she was ill for a few days. So love and healing to you and I uh, hope you're feeling better. Oh, Trash Can Waves is saying Phil is working again. Probably so. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kareen, Kareen. Kareen, Kareen in the house. Good we are, morning. Yes, Namibia is an amazing place. Let me tell you. Uh, You'll see. We're going to show you. And uh, Trash Can Wave says David Hunt is probably sleepy after all those 25, 24 <laughs> hour streams because he had a bunch of 24 hour right, <laughs> streams. Right, right, right. All right. So um, let's see. We got here JP uh, talking about, uh oh, Wanda and Cosmo, y'all fussing. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mr. Stewart, how are you? Mr. Stewart in the house. Yes, good to see you, Mr. Stewart. Everybody uh, is greeting you with Trash Can't Waves. Thank you for taking Philip's place because you're greeting everybody today. We do appreciate that. Um, and then who else do we have here that we haven't said hello to? Um, we saw Kareen. Kareen, she's in there. She always has the best commentary, too. Um, do you have a channel, Kareen? Kareen, I got to subscribe if you do. What is G. Albert saying? He says... I've been hearing about Coach Remy for a while. Nice to see him. Hey, yes. It's great. I got one. Hey, hey, hey. It's G Albert. <laughs> and he's going to do a stream for you. And some pre recorded videos too. <laughs> All right. All right. Hey, unique view. Unique view in the house. Speaking of great content, he always releases the most wonderful content. It's it's popular stuff that uh, trending topics. Matter of fact, what's her name from? Uh, yeah, homegirl. The Cosby Show. Name? What's the little girl from the Cosby Show? Rudy. Yeah, she just got married. What's her real name? Uh, Keisha Knight Pulliam. Yes, and mm -hmm. so I don't know where her married name is now. Right. So he did a video on it, and he's using that avatar that he creates with the animations. Mm -hmm. So he always has something good and something trending. So it's it's just good. Oh. The, JP says it's freezing in Arizona. We don't believe her. Uh, Arizona? Yeah, the desert gets cold too. Okay. Well, Devil's Bane is here. Devil's Bane Speaking in the Speaking of things house. getting cold, the devil doesn't get cold, does he? Nah, I don't know. That's your brother. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Devil's Bane, good to see you. How the, are you the, doing today? The devil is your brother, not mine. I don't know how it was, how things how the temperatures in y'all's house where y'all used to live in. Anyways, uh, basically, it looks like we have said hello to everybody that is here. I say we bring uh, Coach Remy in here to say hello. You got to do the word. It's time for today. Oh, wait. Sizzles. I mean, Sylvie said that people should honestly experience Namibia because this land is beautiful. And it's about the size of the United States. Wow. Like, it's huge. Oh, Miriam, I didn't Mary, told I you. I told you. Tell a, she told a friend to tell a friend. A friend told her to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Yes. And she showed up. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Miriam. She says, Namibia for the win. Good morning from California. Because uh, she is a Nigerian. Yes, but she's in California. She just got her master's degree. She had a video about it. Oh, Kareen Kareen does not have a channel. And Philip Waldo is in there saying hello. WJ. Yes, I missed everybody. Miss Yetta B. Hello to you. Yetta B in the house. And my vivid life is in there. My, 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 my vivid life. 
Evelyn Gauss. Evelyn Gauss, all right. As well as Global Green Book. Global Green Book in the house. Now, she got bit by something I saw on her live stream this morning. Her whole top lip was swollen. Now, look, um, Global Green Book. You and your man, y'all got to calm down. Back to uh, you, can't, you can't you can't be getting that getting that into it that you you're hurting your your lip getting hurt. Come on now. Uh oh. For, look, uh, ask pharmacist Tish, ask pharmacist Tish, which is her other channel. Uh, -huh. uh she talking about for sure with the Vaseline. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Schley Hadessa. Schley Hadessa. Emerge with Schley Hadessa. Hello All to right. you. Good to see you here. I think. I, oh no, we got even got blood batter wings in here. Wow. Yes. Hashtag the home teams putting it in. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh oh. JP said Ali gives the runs. It's like dumping syndrome. Yep. Don't mm. do it. Oh, okay. And she says I explained it better than her only because I saw somebody Ooh. experience it in yeah. real life. The, the Hands on your side, feet on the floor. Betcha I'm going to beat you to the bathroom, though. <laughs> <laughs> XDMC is in there. XDMC. We got to do it, Queen. Okay, what are we doing? This is XDMC's birthday song. It is a very long. long. All right, so that's enough of that. <laughs> I think I, I think I said hello to everybody. No, yeah. we are not having plant based treats for a succulent uh, succulents for plant based treats, G. Albert. <laughs> Thank you for being mis encouraged today, Miss Yetterby. So happy to have you here. Everybody's putting in um, hashtag, hashtag the, the home team. team. Coach Remy as well because he's helping us with now. Our Coach giveaway. Remy, Coach Remy, if you win, we would definitely have to say this thing is rigged. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? All right. So speaking of Coach see. Remy, we're gonna bring him in for the for his for the word on the street. Yep. After we say hello to Real Talk with Tabi, all the Real Africans coming in. Real Talk with Tabi in the from house. South Africa. Oh. Happy, happy, happy. She makes us happy. Yes. You know she does our she did our intro video, so that's why Corey always introduces it that way. And Dick, just so you know, David Hunt and Big Guy Journey is in here. David Corey. Hunt in the house. Check out Hunty Boy's YouTube channel, David Hunt Morning Meditation Music. Yes. And check out Big Guy Journey. He has a YouTube channel as well. Very inspirational young man. His premiere yesterday was really good. And so we got everybody? Yes. All okay. right. Hashtag the home team because now it's time for today's word on the streets coming all the way from Rwanda is hey, Coach Remy workout. Hey, Coach Remy, how are you today? I'm doing great. Yes. Coach, Coach Remy, what's today's word on the street all the way from Rwanda? Healthitude. Healthitude, healthitude. Yes. What is healthitude? So that that's a it's a it's a word composed of two words: health and attitude. Health and uh, so and attitude. So I will make sure that we have your banner running along the bottom because right now I still have Sizzle's banner running along the bottom, and you're giving mm -hmm. the word on the street, but also all of the words that you're saying to us right now will be in that banner. So I'll put it up so that way everybody knows healthitude. Here we are. So Corey, I'm I'm a healthy person. And um, that means that I like to eat healthy food. I try to work out with you. I like to dance, roller skate, all those good physical things, run up the stairs and stuff. Corey loves running up the stairs, doing wall push-ups. But Corey has a bad attitude if I tell him something. Like he doesn't listen if I'm nagging him. How do we put these together? Health and good attitude to listen to your wife. Is that what you're talking about? Uh, it's, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so healthitude has relationship also in it. So it's having a positive relationship towards uh, wholesome health. And uh, wholesome health means you find opportunities to work out, to do physical activities you like. It, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't have to be just home workouts can also be going for a run, going for a bike, going to walk in the park, jumping rope, all the fun stuff that involves the body moving. And there is also another side, which is nutrition. And nutrition gives us the building blocks for the body. And so you shouldn't just be eating, emotional eating, eat for a purpose, eat to give your body the best nutrition you can give it. And then the third part about healthitude is recovery. And re the best recovery is having enough sleep at night. 
Got it. All right. Okay. So healthitude, yes. and you got you promote healthitude on your YouTube channel when people have the opportunity to actually work out with you. Tell everybody what the name of your YouTube channel is. Yes, my my channel is called uh, Coach Remy Fitness, and on my channel there is workout programs, not just a single workout. So mm -hmm. it's easy to follow. So each workout, like each workout program, has let's say sixty days or thirty days. Or, uh, yeah, so there is a number on, on the thumbnail. So you do one and maybe t tomorrow just do two with that, without two. having to worry, what do I do next? So I see that, like right here, it says 21 days challenge, day eight, day seven, uh, 21 yes. days challenge, day six. So let's, I noticed that sometimes you have different people working out with you. So this is not just, you know, you by yourself. Sometimes it's you by yourself. Sometimes it's your family. And yes. right now, of course, it's spinning. But here you are in Rwanda because you're back in Rwanda right now, right? Yes, that's correct. So I ha I, on my platform, I want to encourage families to get together, to enjoy a workout together, because I also believe that if your family is also working out, everybody in the at home, will be fit and caring, having a positive attitude about towards their health. Nice. I love it. And so definitely we have your uh, video, I'm sorry, not your videos, your channel in the description. And the nice thing is that, uh oh, I took somebody out. <laughs> I took everybody <laughs> out. I don't know how I took everybody out. Mm -hmm. The nice thing is that you are a part of our new rollout. So with when you when people go to our buy me a coffee page, they can be a part of what you're doing now and in show espresso where they see us at the top of the page, buy me a coffee and they scroll down and look at the options right there under extras and they can choose an ad package. This one, you are here for the word on the street and you had this is an in-house cappuccino. Exactly. So we appreciate you for that. And you are you ready to help us with the our first place pony drawing? Yes. Let's go. Let's go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count you in three, two, one. And then in your native language, you are going to say, let's go. And that's how we're going to start the drawing. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. How many languages do you speak? Because you might be able to do it in a different language. I, I speak seven languages, about seven, seven languages. Yes. All right. Now, hey there, Wally. Wally has you. You have seven languages. Wally, Wally has two channels: Well Talk Production and Wally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, which language will you be saying? Let's go. Saying in. let's go in. I will say it in Kenya, Rwanda, since I'm in uh, Kigali, Rwanda. Ah, right. good, good, good. Okay. Yes. So we got the, the drawing ready. Yeah, let's pull it up, and this way everybody has already entered. So let's put it in there and let's go for it, Corey. All right, Coach Remy. Three, two, one. To Jen Day. All Yay. right, here we go. Ms. Beefinette, Sizzle Diaries, Coach Remy, Black Tropical, uh, and Tabby, Blood Battered Wings, Glender, Ms. Beefinette, we're talking to Tabby, Black Tropical, Real Tabby, Trash Can Ways, Big Guy Journey, JP, G. Albert, JP, My Vivid Life, Big Guy Journey, Philip Waldo Jr. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> He is the champion, my friend. <laughs> Lean in, Corey, because you know we all getting cut off. All right, so Philip is the winner, Coach Remy, uh, and Philip was in there chatting it up with everyone, saying hello, greeting everyone. Kareen Kareen is saying, "I love it." My African brothers and sisters are all multilingual, so we need you to say congratulations to Philip in as many languages as you can. Hey, Community Solutions Pro is here hey, too, Corey. Hey, Community Adult Pro. Uh, now, <laughs> now, you can also, Trash Can Waves is upset that he didn't win. Talking about what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Don't pay him any mind. Just say congratulations in as many languages as you can to Philip. <laughs> okay, I will start with English. Congratulations, uh, Philip Waldo. <laughs> Felicitations, Philip Waldo de Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, they, all the other languages run away it happens sometimes if you speak too much too many languages right and it's hard when you're not in a conversation to just yes. switch because your brain has to go back and forth and back and forth how mm -hmm. do you say it's rigged how do you say it's rigged in your language <laughs> uh, 
ntabwo ari byukuri <laughs> all right nice nice nice, nice. Well, we thank you we're gonna put you back in the virtual green room and thank you for bringing the word on the street guys next wednesday coach remy is going to come back he's going to be our featured guest on <laughs> our show he's going to be talking about his work his fitness program and how he's helping them change the lives of people around the world and you see in Tabi saying coach remy please teach me your language you have so many though would you say rwanda <laughs> is your home language or in, because that was your first one or what was your first language so Kinyarwanda is my mother tongue and Swahili is also like my mother tongue because I started speaking it when I was young below like from five to ten I was already oh. speaking Swahili nice right. so you basically have two languages then so nice 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 and yes. this is just wonderful so what we'll do here is uh, make sure that everyone uh understands that your link is already in the chat for your YouTube channel. Speaking of mother tongues, we got your mom in there. Of course, she works out with you sometimes too. So for those of you wondering what you'll get when you go to Coach Remy's channel, you will get all the goodness. As you see, mom gets down, mom gets up, mom will work it out. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> like she's getting down yes. onto her mat and everything. So thank you again, Coach Remy. Uh, this is just has just been wonderful. Thank you very much. It was a oh. pleasure being here. Yes. Thank you. All right. Thank you. And we will see you soon. Okay. Yes. All right. All right, Corey. So we have Coach Remy is gone and so is uh, the mom. But mm. we've got to bring in our main guest. All right. So how do we introduce her for today? Well, we have a great guest for you today. We have a great guest. She's coming to you all the way from Namibia. If you're looking to travel abroad and you want to find some interesting vacation destinations, this is the show for you. If you're looking to maybe start a side business and you're interested in world travel and you want to know some of the ins and outs of some of the things you might need to know for that type of business, this is the broadcast for you. Wait a minute, Corey. Um, we did not say hello to OG Patrice. OG Patrice, pistol packing Patrice. <laughs> She's a beast from the west to the east, to say the least, with a four or five piece. And you know what, Corey? These people with the with the regulations, they got Glenda acting up. I know we're not <laughs> supposed to interrupt our guest's introduction, but it says, PWJ, aren't you supposed to be working? How you winning? <laughs> <laughs> they in there talking real trash. Uh, JP is at least you know, congratulating G. Albert because they're talking about that alley and how horrible it is and all of those good things. Right. And uh, yes, unique view. Mom works out. Everybody works out. And everybody's saying everybody loves Patrice. They're going with it. Oh, Community Solutions Pro loves your rap. Oh, well, thank you, Community Solutions Pro. Yes. All right, Corey. So, um, and you know what she was singing last night on Your Favorite Pharmacist? Oh, Community Solutions Pro was? No, Patrice. Patrice? Oh, okay. Let's I was singing. back up singing. Hello. She was singing everything. My love has come along. No, no. Let's Patrice do My that. cloudy days are over. When your favorite pharmacist and her Vaseline is on. You know what? This is a daytime oh, show, Corey. Yeah, it's yeah, cloudy, yeah, but yeah. it's daytime, so... <laughs> Thank you, Unique View. She was singing. Thank you for that reminder. We're good now. Uh, We're good, Corey. So do I continue with my intro? Let's go for it. All right. Today's special guest is, again, coming up to us all the way from the great country of Namibia. She's going to show you how she gets it done as a travel curator. This woman has more adventures than Indiana Jones and any of the Indiana Jones movies combined. This one, this woman and her business partner, they are a tag team travel curation duo that's stronger than the Legion of Doom. They should be the real road warriors in Namibia. They are better than the British Bulldogs. They rock harder than the Rock and Roll Express. They are galloping across Namibia as if they were the four horsemen. For those of you that know who I'm talking about, y'all are showing your age. <laughs> this special guest, but of course, she and her partner are way cuter than any of those guys that we just mentioned. <laughs> we have a special guest for you. It is time for somebody, a travel curator who is truly, by name, description, is truly hot. Ooh. She is today. 
ladies. Each your guess. She is Rebecca with her partner Fagronia from Sizzle. All right. Diaries. Welcome. <laughs> Hey, Rebecca. Hi, everybody. This is so great to have you here. Now, I know that um, you are busy. You're moving around. And I know that you're, you were saying with moving and everything, um, the network is in and out. So we get it. We understand. But while we have you, we are ready to chat and learn a lot more about you as a curator, travel curator. You're educated, you're beautiful, you're uh, intelligent, and you're resourceful. And the nice thing is that you are a resource for other people. So David Hunt is loving your intro. He heard Corey just going <laughs> in, talking about all of the things that you bring. So tell yeah. us a little bit about your background, because I know that Philip Waldo is saying welcome, and we want to know about your mom being the magistrate, having you guys on the move. Tell us a little bit about that, because I know that started your love for history. Yeah. So um, thank you for having me, everybody. And I'm excited to be here. Uh, my name is Rebecca, and I have a YouTube channel called Sizzle's Diaries. And um, most of my my time on my channel, I really don't show my face, but yeah, here I am. <laughs> also, if that helps, I know that uh, sometimes if you turn the camera off, it helps the signal. If you need to do that today, we completely understand because you also have so many other things that we can show. So like right now, I was showing your YouTube channel. I'll make sure I drop it into the chat. So go ahead and finish telling us. Your mom was a magistrate, and she that means she meant she moved from town to town as her career required, and that meant you got a lot of travel education, and it influenced you to want to study in certain fields as you went to university. So tell me about what what did you study, and how did your mom's uh, experience, career career choice influence your life? Go ahead, you can start. Um born in uh, Zambia and grew up in Kenya uh, for that part of my Oh goodness I, I we can hardly hear you right now audio Yeah it's getting like the volume try that again I heard you say you were actually born in, in Zambia. Zambia Thank you David Hunt for dropping the YouTube channel as well Try it again, Sizzles. You were saying you were born in Zambia. I think. Yeah, I think there was a notification yeah, or something. Okay. We can't. Oh, the volume is low. No, the volume. Can you go into your settings and uh, choose audio, like choose this gear that says cam and mic? And then you choose uh, audio, you change it to speaker, and then change it back to the device, and it will restore the audio. So once you click the gear that says uh, audio, yes, yeah, Sylvie, trust me, this the network is it does this. But also, once you click that gear, if you get a notification while you're using StreamYard on a mobile device, it will do this. So whenever you're using uh, note to All stream, right, let me just try to fix that. That's better. We yes, can hear you now. Yes. We hear you now. And note, whenever you use the stream yard on your phone, make sure you put it on do not disturb so those notifications don't disturb your audio. Yeah. So go ahead. You were saying you were born in Zambia. Yes, I was born in Zambia and was raised in Tanzania for the better part of my childhood. So just before independence, my parents moved back to Namibia. And um, my mom studied in, Zam in, in Tanzania in, in the law school. So when she came here, she became first a prosecutor in, in the court. And then later she became a magistrate. So what's fascinating is while growing up, she will move from town to town because of her job and will actually move along. And we've actually stayed in so many towns around Namibia that I started picking up bits of other 
indigenous languages around Namibia. And that led to me speaking more than four um, languages that are spoken in Namibia. And also maybe that led me to connect more with history and wanting to know more about my country because honestly, I had to learn everything from scratch coming back to Namibia and history became my passion from primary school, secondary school and up to university where I did um, a diploma in labor and employment studies. And later on to a degree in law, when actually a degree in law and history was one of my minor subjects. Mm. And um, right about COVID, I, I was bored, I was laid off from work <laughs> and at home. So I was like, let me not go mental, let me just enroll <laughs> for my master's. <laughs> so I actually did my master's in international relation and diplomacy while we were in this whole COVID system. <laughs> So, you took so I'm showing I'm showing right now this video of Namibia that you this is on your channel here. And this is what you always discuss when you got bored. You said, hey, let me uh, do what Glenda Shivers is saying. Hashtag Namibia. Let me do what Unique View is saying. Showcase my beautiful land, uh, you know, get all of these things done and really showcase your what your education and background tells what were you going to ask Corey? i was just saying so the pandemic caused her to pursue her passion another ppp program <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> nice 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 and so this is just great because these pictures and video clips here what part of rwanda i'm sorry what, namibia. i'm thinking of coach remy uh what part of namibia are these in because I was telling them earlier that Namibia is the size of like the United States and you have traveled all over Namibia. And y'all can check the facts because I might have it a little bit, uh, the the uh, sizing a little bit wrong, but my research said it was about that size. Uh, Community Solutions Pro is saying, I love, love, love Africa. Would love to live there part-time. It's so interesting. I'm with you. That's the way I feel as well. And so what part are we looking at right now in this video well that part is the coastal region mm. so the and that part is the central region that's um the town the town of Tsumeb. okay nice and so basically we we're talking about the coastal region we're talking about the central region and isn't there somewhere on the coastal region where the water is pink I know Febronia had mentioned. Hold on, that. she's starting to freeze. Oh, go ahead, Sizzles. Can you hear us okay now? Uh, just repeat again the question. I didn't hear. Sure. Well, Corey yeah, was asking. Yeah, I do. About, right, and Corey was asking about the pink water because Sylvia's saying an educated queen. I I stand. She she loves it. And then we also have. Glenda saying she wishes she was there. It's so beautiful. So all of this goes into you as a travel curator. We want to hear more about these inexpensive excursions, because one thing that your business partner Fabronia was saying is that when we travel there to Namibia, uh, you are the connection, whereas you're like the travel agent. So this is something that you were doing before before the lockdown, or is it something that you started after the lockdown with traveling and doing excursions? You were doing this before or after or the whole time? With like well, travel. This hosting. is something that came during lockdown. Okay. Can I continue? <laughs> oh, sure. Yes. Go ahead. Well, this is something that came up um, during lockdown. Um, I have, a, I have a mad passion for Africa and for my country. And I just thought there isn't a lot of word out there about Namibia and especially also about Africa. So it perpetuated me to really push for uh, promoting this type of business for people who do want to, 
to visit Namibia someday. And we do offer a personalized experience. It's just not over the phone, over the emails, but we do actually get to meet the people that are coming to the country. Mm. Um, well, I curate the business. I offer a platform where I chat online with the people, but then with Frebronia, she drives actually the people throughout the country and they can meet me. I'm in the northern part of Namibia, so they can come get to meet me when they want to go visit the, the Himba village or the Rakana waterfalls or the Enana memorial um, tombstone for the war heroes. Yeah, so basically that's it. So my question for you, I think this is the one that you didn't hear earlier. Now, Nancy Annette is like, Africa is beautiful. This is just, just wonderful. Uh, we also have Philip Waldo. This is, he's repeating Corey's question. Corey, he says, ask about the pink water again. Corey probably saw pink elephants. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so no. like you're saying, you do the excursions here. Uh, you're one part of the business, but the pink water, I know that's in, near the coastal region. Fabronia is in this video. At one point, she's driving because there's Water Maya. He was visiting. You all were hosting. You and Fabronia were part of the team, driving him around, showing him to different parts. And this is where he's saying, why are people going anywhere else when they can come here to this country and get everything? So the pink water... Uh, Fabronia was saying that's a, it, it's near the coastal region. Uh, tell us about that area. Well, the Pink Waters is around the coastal region, as you're saying, of Namibia, which is on the Western Atlantic coast. And mm. it's actually a man-made lake. And um, the reason why the water is pink is from the plant plankton and microscopic organisms that live in the water. And it's so fascinating because <laughs> everybody that goes there, even when we, we took Wodemaya there, he was so fascinated. I think there's another place in Africa that has a similar um, ping. <laughs> Amazing because it's sandwiched between the, the sand dunes and it's not far from a place where the Atlantic Ocean meets the desert. And where else in the world would you find a scenario where the desert meets the the ocean? Right. Um, and, and I know that you all took him to that region. I'm going to see if I can get closer. Wait, y'all have, I just saw a lion. Um, look, there's a lion. So this is what people think. They think Africa is all lions and elephants. Do you see lions every day sizzles? No, I don't see them every day. I see people every day. And that's part of the narrative <laughs> that we want to change. Because a lot of people, when they hear about Africa, they hear, they think of uh, safari, the big five. But then we have an, a, a beautiful and amazing abundance of culture. You can learn so much from here because the people are what makes Africa and not really the animals. So that's what we want to showcase by immersing people in the culture where they get to learn about how things are done, um, life. Oh, I think it's starting to freeze a little bit. Uh, she's still there. But I, I love what she just said. That's like a t-shirt. Uh, the people make Africa, not the animals. Right. That, that is that was that was really nice. I like that. That's that's there's the coast also, Corey. I think that's the Atlantic I, uh, coast that she was just referring to, and the sand dunes, how they meet the coast is what so, she was discussing. I think for Bernie was saying they got some of the biggest sand dunes in the world there, at uh, the highest sand dunes in, in the world there in Namibia. And it's cool because you know you can do all sorts of resort like activities. You can go horseback riding on the beach. You can uh, visit the sand dunes. You can go hiking. You can go to the beach and enjoy the beach. So it's lots of things. Like I said, this is a great vacation destination, a great repatriation destination. It's a lot of things that you can do in Namibia. Let me also tell you what Sylvie said. I have never, ever seen a lion in my life. And she is there in Namibia, guys. <laughs> you have seen a lion in your in real life, Sylvie. <sighs> you know what? <laughs> I'm the lion of this house, the alpha male in this house. Anyways, <laughs> Mr. Stewart is saying, can she arrange for me to marry a Maasai woman? Um, I, I 
go there. Done. You know what? We can. You know what? We can for the low, low price of fifty thousand dollars. We can take care of the whole thing for you, Mr. Stewart. <laughs> this is Africa. Hello to you. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for uh, good to have you here. Unique View was saying, I need to visit. So, guys, this is why Sizzles is here today telling us a little bit about it. So why don't we hear from Coach Remy? and see if he has any input in he, on Namibia on some of his travels because he's been to so many different countries, right? So let's get Coach Remy in. Oh, wait, Devil's Bane is in here chatting it up with uh, Philip Waldo saying, hey there, salute. So Coach Remy, we've got a few questions for you. Uh, let's see if you can answer any questions about Namibia versus Rwanda versus well, any of the countries you travel to on the continent. You know, what can people expect? Because a lot of times. Wait a minute, Corey. Before you say that, why is Philip in here saying not the low, low price, Corey? Yeah, the low, low price of $50,000. <laughs> <laughs> US right. dollars. So, so, hey there, Coach Remy. We are, yes. going to, we are going to bring Sizzles back in in just a second. But we got a quick question for you. You've traveled to quite a few countries, right? Now, yes. Unique View is saying, visit with a guide. How many countries have you visited? And did you have a guide like Sizzles? Or, you know, do you just kind of go for it? What happens? Uh, I've visited about 20 countries. And usually I, I, I like to be a local. So if I don't like to go like at uh, touristic destinations because then you don't really experience the the people, the culture, and their way of life. So when I'm visiting new places, those are the things I want to experience. Ah, nice. Okay, so let's get Sizzles in here because we have a question from the audience. And so if you can stay on, we'll add you both. And so let's see, we might have to mute one of her screens, I think. We Okay, so Sizzles, if you can uh, mute the other window where you have us playing, that helps. And because we have a question for you and for Coach Remy from Snuggles, dun, dun, dun. Mm. This is a get great- Get the wrench ready, Philip. No, don't get it ready because <laughs> this is the question that Sizzles was just answering and she wants to add to. So Coach Remy, while you're here, you can answer. When she comes back, she can answer. Snuggle right. says, why don't more black people look at Africa as a destination for a vacation instead of Europe? Or does everything have to be light to cons be considered right? Mm -hmm. So, so go yes. ahead. Uh, I think people like uh, they think here the perception they have about Europe, they think it's uh, like futuristic and they want to see something they haven't seen. So, so wait, they think because, Europe is futuristic, but here we are in Namibia. <laughs> this looks pretty futuristic. <laughs> so go ahead, keep going. Yes. So yeah. So they think it's more than more than oh, what is already available. And uh, so another thing is, uh, like me when I was a child, I used to think like uh, far away, to where I have to take a plane is like uh, heaven or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So people still have that perception in their minds. Got it. So, okay, Sizzle, you are back. And Sylvie is in here speaking for Namibia. She says, our capital city was the cleanest city in Africa for five years until your, your Kigali, city, yeah, yep, Kigali. until your city, Coach Remy, because you're in Kigali right now, Rwanda, until you guys took over. So there's competition. And I know that right here. She, the, she, she got a little fight to her. She likes she likes competition. <laughs> she does. Look, she does. <laughs> so, so uh, not Sylvie. So, Sizzles, this question is for you because I know you were answering this. Why don't more Black people look at Africa as a destination for a vacation? Tell us that answer. Like, you know, instead of Europe. Well, I is because of narrative that's out there uh, people do not get to see the Africa that is oh, it's breaking up a little bit it is breaking right now try it again sizzles because 
we also have, I'll read a couple of comments. Um, let's see. Devil's Bane is saying, good point. The passport brothers never speak on Africa. Mm. Mm. And, and like you're saying, Coach Remy, you've been to 20 different countries. Community Solutions Pro One says there are a whole there are whole expat communities in many countries in Africa. I've been to Africa. I will be going back. Uh, tell us some of the countries that you've been to, uh, Coach Remy. Yes. So I will first say the African countries where I have been. I have been to Uganda, uh, Kenya, Tanzania, Mozambique, mm. Malawi, South Africa, and Egypt. And then countries in, in uh, Asia, I have been to Iran, Turkey, Uzbekistan, India, and then countries in Europe have been to Sweden, Belgium, Holland, UK, Spain. Yes, I, those are the ones I remember for now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, you know, here, Mr. Stewart said Europe was boring. What's your favorite? Europe, Africa. You tell us. African, because there's many countries. And you can also say Europe, European countries versus African countries. Yes. So... For me, I always prefer where like uh, I was, uh, my DNA feels good, so all my body feels good. So like for black people, when they are, they are in Europe, they get like a deficiency in vitamin D. That means our bodies does, does not do well in uh, those type of countries where you don't have enough sunlight. Mm. So yes, so I prefer Africa. Nice. You prefer Africa. We also have Sizzles back. Any country, in Africa. Any country mm -hmm. in Africa, right? Yes. So and part, of, and part of Sizzles travel curation is being able to uh, build relationships to ensure some inexpensive excursions and some good rest and relaxation and good restaurants, good hotels. So if people are looking to get into travel, for people that are looking into to get into the travel curation business, we want Sizzles to talk about the importance of building those relationships as you hashtag Sizzles Diaries. All right. So Sizzles, we have a question for you. Uh, it, two questions. Is there an African version of the Autobahn? Yes. That you can just... <laughs> <laughs> and the other one, you know, the importance why of... should they come to uh, Namibia as a destination? Those two questions while people put in hashtag Sizzles Diaries. Well, we all know that, or most of us have heard from Wademaya's video that Namibia is the most underrated travel destination in Africa. And mm -hmm. I think we need to put out more incentives to show off Namibia because a lot of people do not get to see what Namibia is. And even when Wardemeyer was here, he didn't get to see the entire country. There are so many hidden places within the country that ought to be explored. And I think that Namibia should be a top leading destination for Africans because it's, it has an abundance of culture. It has an abundance of history, African history, archaeological history. There's so many unexplored findings in Namibia that ought to be discovered. And I think it's a wonderful opportunity for people who want to explore something unseen or something that's new. I think it's really important for, for them to come to Namibia because if I don't know much about the country and I see like a bomb video popping out on Wardemeyer's channel. <laughs> I'll be mm -hmm. clicking or dialing my number very fast to, you know, call Sizzle's Diaries to curate that business for you and making sure that you do get to Namibia as soon as possible so we give you the best uninterrupted, safe and fun experience. Yes. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Don't so forget the hashtag Sizzles Diaries. They are putting that in there. They are putting in Sizzles Diaries right now. We, she has told us about the rest and relaxation in Namibia, why should we should go. And of course, Bob Marley, um, Kareen Kareen says, has a song called Africa Unite. Do either of you think that can happen 
And would it be beneficial? You know, they do have the, the passport that they've imported, the trade um, that they're working on, the global passport for mm -hmm. not global, but the African the continental passport, passport, continental, as well as the free trade, which means we can trade between countries in uh, on the continent of Africa because there's 54 countries. But we want your input, Sizzles or Rebecca from Sizzles and Coach Remy, as we get ready for our final giveaway because they are ready. So do you all think it that it can Africa can unite? Do you think that's possible? That's your question. I go first. All sure. right. So yes, I think it's possible, but it's going to take time because I think we have people meddling with the, like the, the progress towards United Africa. So like if 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 Africa would unite, we would uh, like be on the big table. So now we have like the G20 or something. <laughs> so <laughs> I, there was someone. There, there was this white man who was saying uh, Africa Union should also be uh, on the table when uh, those decisions are being made, being taken. Mm. Because yes, so it's going to take time, but it will happen. Nice. All right, Sizzles. Now, Sizzles, this giveaway that we're about to do is not for a free trip to Namibia, but uh, to answer David Hunt's question mm -hmm. for it, but uh, the answer that you're going to give right after you give that, we'll do our giveaway before we wrap things up with our plant-based treat. So do you think uh, that Africa can unite Sizzles? Would that be a good thing to have instead of it would be like the United States of Africa instead of each country being separate. Well, in my personal opinion, I feel that there is really a great possibility for Africa and Africans in general to unite because look at it. The greatest mistake ever done was the division of our people. And because mm -hmm. we were divided and not united, that's when things started going wrong. So if we stand, we unite, and we unite for the greater cause because we are brothers and sisters. So mm -hmm. um, united Africa, it's possible. And a united Africa for all Africans in the diaspora as well as on the continent it's possible. And we are waiting for you, our brothers and sisters, to come join us back home and feel how it feels like to be. I mean, home is always home and sweet home, sweet home. So <laughs> I think it's really possible. And I, I feel like getting emotional right now because when I hear about people in the United States wanting to visit Africa and reconnecting with their ancestors, and with their, their brothers, it, it's like a long lost child. And I really want to connect. I really want to connect with my brothers and sisters. So mm. we'll be waiting for you. We'll be waiting for you all to come <laughs> because nothing ain't going to stop us right now. The greatest <laughs> lie told about Africa and Africans ought to end in this generation. Right, right. You know what? That's so true. And we've, we've got everybody in here uh, putting in Sizzle's Diaries. We This is your video on your channel showing different parts of the country. Everybody's excited about it. And like you're saying, we're all brothers and sisters. We do want to welcome the Traveler Queen. Hey there. Hey, Traveler Queen. Happy to have you. And of course, we also have one of our sponsors this week, the Intentional, the Intentional Millionaire. Millionaire. Yes. And then we also have Before the Billions. Before the Billions. So guys, hashtag sizzles diaries and the giveaway today is whoever wins sizzles i mean rebecca of sizzles diaries will shout you out on her next video and her next social media post yes absolutely devil's bane is sold says i'm definitely going to have to come to namibia someday so if you guys are ready for the giveaway I think we've got to do it. I know Nancy Annette made a great point, Sizzles, when you said, you're a historian, Sizzles. So when you said that, you know, the, the countries were broken up, the Berlin Conference chopped up Africa, Nancy Annette says. Absolutely. If you're not familiar with the Berlin Conference, 
look it up. Uh, there was a brother on the lead attorney channel the other day talking about that, Corey. Mm. I don't think Lee knew about it because he was like, oh, it's Russia's fault. So, <laughs> yeah, check it out for yourselves, guys. It's real. So definitely, I definitely say check out Sizzle's Diaries channel as well. Yes. Because she builds a lot of great relationships to give you a good travel curated experience in Namibia. All right, so the so way we're going to do the drawing is I'll say three, two, one, and Sizzle's and one of the languages that you know, you can say, let's go. All right. Are you ready, Sizzles? I'm ready. All right. So it Corey said one, Oh, wait. So Corey's going to say one, two, three, and then you say it. All right. Here we go. One, two, All right. three. It to any. All righty. Let's see who's going to win the giveaways. Blood, uh, Devil's Bane, Blood Battered Wings, Trash Can Waves. J Wait, we got in there. Oops. B the Before the Billions. Mm. That unique ba unique view. Patrice Garner, Before the Billions. We'll talk with Ntabi. Unique view. Hey, <laughs> unique view comes in with the win. Yes. So I unique view, you will get your channel shouted out on Sizzle's Diaries channel. Either and the Instagram or the YouTube channel. I did drop the Instagram in there as well. Unique view has a wonderful channel. So this is a great opportunity to collaborate. Well, Coach Remy, uh, this has been absolutely wonderful. Thank you for your input. Thank you for being our in-show steamer feature for the week. Mm -hmm. And we're going to say goodbye to you for now. Just have you hang out in the green room. Corey has virtual treats. Yep, got virtual treats. We got some uh, muscadine grapes. And we also have some avocado toast. <laughs> and we also have some uh, ve ve vegetarian plant-based lox and bagels. <laughs> yes, yes. Those are my favorite. Yeah. So this is great. Thank you so much. All right. So actually, Corey, uh, we are going to everybody is congratulating. Unique views. Yes. And you know, trash can waves. After a while, he did say, Congratulations, brother. I accept this one for unique view. Because of course he was like, What the hell is going on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Global Green Book walked away for a minute and missed the drawings. I know it's horrible, right? Oh, no worries. You are here just in time for the plant-based treat because we are definitely always trying to get you guys to eat more fruits and vegetables. And you have a good day as well, uh, the Traveler Queen. Uh, everybody's congratulating Unique View. And don't worry, Wally, you're just in time for the plant-based treat. You want to introduce it, Corey? And now it's time for today's plant-based treat by <laughs> Chef Laquita Marie. <laughs> All right, Corey, they are in here just talking trash. I'm not rigging it up, guys. Okay. In Kigali um, and in uh, Namibia, we didn't ask them about rice, but hey, today's plant-based treat is something simple and delicious. Here we go. Banging brown rice. I'm going to get the rice started. I've got a couple of onions and some spinach. Chop the onions into medium-sized pieces. Onions are full of antioxidants, including quercetin, a powerful anti-inflammatory compound. Onions can lower blood sugar and cholesterol and can improve bone density. Add onions, spinach, two cups of rice, and four cups of water. Dark leafy greens like spinach are important for skin, hair, and bone health. They provide protein, iron, vitamins, and minerals. Cover with a lid, cook for 30 minutes on medium-high. Add two teaspoons of seasoning salt. Serve it up, let's eat. Let me know what it's like. Yeah, you need to blow it. It's so good. So, do you taste the spinach? Mm-mm. Do you taste no, the it's... onions? I'm gonna eat rice. Coco, somebody else has to try it. <laughs> yeah, Coco, I haven't tried it yet. It, okay, you try it. I'm putting this with those um, black eyed peas. Okay. No, 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 How is it? The so rice was good, but when you put it with the black eyed peas, it was delicious. All right. All right, everybody. Trying to get you to eat more fruits, vegetables, and whole grains at every meal. And you know, I do have an, a question to answer. Thank you for asking that, Community Solutions Pro. Do you use water or vegetable broth? Because there are so many vegetables in there, I do cook the rice in water. And the seasonings that I use, sometimes there's a 
vegetable broth seasoning, different seasonings. The ones in the video are the ones that I use as well as sometimes, I can't think of the name of it. There's a vegetable broth seasoning as well, a couple of different ones. So I just use different seasonings, but for the most part, it's surprising how the vegetables flavor the rice, but they don't taste like just boring vegetables or whatever. And the rice still tastes like rice with that much onions and spinach and whatever else you want to add to it. Sometimes I do carrots, a couple of other things as well. So Good. Remember, Nancy Annette says she's going to try that. And uh, Patrice loves rice and black eyed peas. And so does the Green Book. Hoppin' John's. Yes, loves black eyed peas. Remember, we're not vigilantes. We're just trying to get you to eat more fruits and vegetables at every meal. And with that being said, that does it for this episode of A Blind Guy. His wife. Their Life Live. Join us tomorrow as Violet Botanical <laughs> Skincare. Robin Turner is here. Mm. If you have a small business and you're trying to get a jump on the Black Friday sales and compete with Amazon, she's got the formula for you tomorrow. So tune in. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Oh. And on Friday, we have... Advancing Black Heights, Antoine Wade of Black Heights, advancing your career. He's going to talk about how to climb that corporate ladder with soft skills and how to and show you how he's become a millionaire at the age of 37. <laughs> so tune in for that episode on Friday. And we thank you. Once yeah, look, again. Phil says Robin is overdue. He's ready for her tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. And David Hunt's still saying it's rigged. How do we say goodbye? Because now he's saying still rigged. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Devil's Bane, for saying it's a great show. We appreciate that. Well, we say goodbye today by just saying a simple, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as we leave our home team to you, we say goodbye, love, peace, and so deuces. Oh, I thought we had to say that.